boats are stranded and the fish and ducks are gone. Fishermen and farmers who depended on Lake Chilwa are desperately looking for alternative income. That's after low rainfall and rising temperatures have caused Malawi's second largest lake to dry up. The drying of the lake has put us in an awkward situation. We had good fish markets. Now we don't have work because there's no fish. One and a half million people live around Lake Chilwa. It once provided about 30 percent of the fish Malawians ate and it was home to nearly 200 species of birds. So you can actually see that the drying of the lake and the seizing of the fishing has affected the whole value chain uh, of the fishermen that bring the fish, uh, the buyers, as well as the processors and the transporters. The lake has dried up completely several times in the past 100 years, but extreme weather is causing it to evaporate more frequently. And, and so climate change uh, contributes uh, to the current uh, recessions that we are experiencing. Because you can see that in 2012 uh, there was a recession where the lake uh, lost about 80 percent uh, of its water. Uh, then it recovered uh, in 2013, but not fully. Unless the water rises again, residents may be forced to rebuild their lives elsewhere or die like the lake. Christine Pirovolakis, TRT World.